there everyone, how's it going? Uh, so, uh, decided to make a tutorial on this IK system, which I, I believe I did, uh, uploaded a showcase video, you know, just a basic IK, IK system where the player's hands just snap to the obstacle. Basically, the obstacle can, like, be, well, no, you don't need to set it manually, it'll just pick the obstacle. Uh, like, uh, if it's the obstacle is like this, you know, this part is visible, it'll just pick this part and, and all that stuff. So, you don't really need to worry about that, okay? So, um, so today we're gonna work around, we're gonna see how I set it up. So, here's what I, you know, set up, basically. So, let me just kind of, uh, yeah, okay. So, as you can see, the hands, the snap to the ledge, okay? Uh, we have this really basic one. Uh, okay, we have that, and as you can see, the hands, the snap to the ledge, I'm gonna make it up or down, you just see it really kind of uh, snaps really nicely, and they stay all the way snapped. The feet, uh, I disabled the IK for the feet, they really look weird and all that, so uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't believe that it was, it was a good idea to disable those. Although you can enable it, and we will be scripting for the foot IK too on the wall. So yeah, let's get started. First, we're going to create a new scene. Alright, here we have a new scene. And we're just going to want to go to where the camera is. And now, we're going to set it up. So basically, you just need to have like a 3D model at least in your scene. Okay, so we ha I have this default avatar Unity provided. You know, Unity's basic example. So here we have him. And, uh... Basically, just on the zero position, rotation, and everything. So, then we have the, uh, stuff. Like, we have the cube. And I'm gonna reset the two, and I'm just gonna wanna move it a little bit. Somewhere like that. Now, in this example, I won't be using any animations. But, if you don't want to use animations, uh, I'll be giving you... You know, I'll be scripting it in such a way that it could be, like, animation compatible. So, yeah. Basically right and left moving animation on the ledge compatible to me. So here we have it. Now we're just gonna wanna like let's say kinda make it a little longer just like right about that. Now let's create a new script, okay? So to get started we're gonna create a new C sharp script. And I'm gonna call this let's say uh I don't know, IK Snap, you know, I, I'm not being able to come up with great names nowadays. Whew, okay, so let's open this up. So there we have the IK Snap. So we're going to start off. So the basic idea we have here is that we're going to cast two rays from, you know, up front the player right here. So one ray is going to be casted like this and the other like that. And these two rays are going to just hit the you know, the obstacle right somewhere there. And for the foot, we're gonna just cast straight rays from there, straight, and they're just gonna wanna, like, match those. And we're gonna uh, use the IK system, the on animator IK system for the player to actually uh, match those. So, let's, let's do it. First, we need a few variables. We're gonna create a few variables. For example, we're gonna create a variable called, uh, use IK and that's gonna be a bool sorry sorry uh, it's been actually a really long time and I'm not quite you know who oh, actually not a really long time but still so first we're gonna be creating use IK variable and we're gonna be creating a few more variables such as we're gonna be creating uh, let's say a few more booleans bools so bool left hand IK Okay, another one that is going to be a right hand IK. So these two variables are going to be basically used when the ray cast is hitting the object, then these two are going to be set to true, and basically the player is going to start matching his position to those uh, places and stuff. So with these two done, we're going to first off script this, and we're also going to want to, well, I don't think so, we need the animator, yes. Okay, so, okay, we still do need the animator. So I'm just gonna want to make it, let's say, a private uh, animator, 
item we want to call that and we're just gonna want to get this animator like uh, okay so the start function we're basically getting the animator uh, okay this is weird actually really weird okay I'm sorry okay so in the start function we're, we are picking the animator component from right there just picking this up and we have two variables just uh you know use ik do you want to use it or not uh, left hand right hand ik if uh, the raycast is basically hitting the ob obstacle then these two variables uh, you know they're going to turn true not two of them but still so uh we're going to be creating it on fixed update i believe the raycast say work best on face up fixed update because they're like a physics function and usually physics function they work better in those the instead of the update function okay so uh we're gonna start off by creating a few variables few raycast hit variables so raycast hit and i'm gonna call this left hit then the same raycast hit i'm gonna call it right hit so basically left hand hit right hand hit or we can just kind of add a edge right there if you want um so let's see okay so we're gonna be casting a ray uh just like from above the player right there and right there so, so to do so we're gonna say if physics a ray cast okay and we're gonna start off by saying the position from which we're gonna start it so transform transform that position and first we're getting the main position which is this one almost almost that and then we're gonna get the position from where we wanted to cast it so that could be about like one two about two maybe a little bit more two something so we're gonna plus we're gonna add a custom value so plus new vector three and we're just gonna want to add a y value and of course a z value so 0, 0.0 uh sorry and we have uh let's say 2.0 and we have 0 0.5 i'm not really sure i still have to test we still have to test that out then we have the position from which we want to match it like you know okay sorry we don't, we don't really need to add the y value right there we could okay we we, we could we could add it so, so let's say mm, not still even sure should have had get a look at it okay so then we want to cast it down and left for, for, for so first we're doing the let's say left hand uh ik check so we're gonna cast it down so we're gonna say let's say uh hmm okay well i'll be right back okay this is awkward but i'll be right back i'm sorry okay so i'm back and uh i just kind of had a look in the script and we have this one so this is basically we're casting it two meters above the player this is we're casting it 0.5 meters in front of the player so just like that we're gonna go and we're gonna say the other thing which we're gonna do is we, we want to cast it downwards so basically we're starting from some point right there and we want to cast it about there and there so for that we're gonna say transform dot up so minus transform dot up means basically you know transform dot up is like up and tra minus transform up is like down just like that and we're gonna add an offset like plus new vector 3 and that is going to be uh, for the left. It is supposed to be zero point minus zero point so minus zero point five meters on the left. And for the y, it is supposed to be hmm, let's say zero minus one minus zero point five two. Uh, I guess we'll have a look into that. Okay, no, actually not minus zero point five. Just that, that's all right. Okay. So, and we're just going to want to make it like that, and for dz, it's just going to be like that, okay. And then we have, 
how long we want it to be, basically, the, you know, distance. So we will just want it to be 1 meters. And with that done, we also want to save the variable in uh, the variable called raycast left hit. So for that, we want to add a basic thing like out dot left hit. Okay. All right. So and then we're just gonna want to do it like that. Right. So now what we're doing, we're just casting a basic ray. Now let's see if it's even working. So we're gonna say. Uh, left hand IK is true so if, if you're hitting something we just want to make it true else we want to make the left hand IK to false alright now doing that doing so what we're doing is we're actually casting an array 2 meters above the player and 0.5 meters in front of the player okay so we're starting it from somewhere there and then we're casting it down using this minus transform node up and then we're offsetting it using the 0.5 a little bit to there okay I'll almost there I don't know and we're casting it from like its range is gonna be one meter now let's see uh, first let's kind of add the script to the player we have a few variables right there uh, we don't just, doesn't really need to be like that so as you can see the left hand IK seems to be working let's see if we kind of move it right there okay it's off well, okay so as you can see it seems to be working Okay, if the ray cast is hitting, and if, if it kind of gets out of range, well, I think the point five thing is a little too much. Maybe it's all right. Okay, so now let's do. Okay, let's save the scene. Uh, I'm just gonna call that IK test. And now let's return back to the script. Now what we need to do is we actually need to cast a ray, like draw a ray, just to you know have a visual view of how the ray is being casted, you know, 